A lot of us sitting down to work on our laptops need to have some music to keep us going. And by that, I don't mean tuning into some random radio station that inundates you with ads. Some of us might play music from our smartphones, which is not kind on their little batteries. And a lot of us might have iTunes libraries as well. But unless you have a gigantic music collection, the same old music gets boring really fast. So let's have a look at a simpler, self-contained way to get your groove on with my poison of choice, websites. And speaking of Groove, one of my favorite sites for music is Groove Shark. There are some other popular sites locked in a proverbial Pandora's box with spotty country restrictions, but Groove Shark works fine and dandy, borders be darned. Groove Shark is simple and effective. Whether it's an artist or song, just type in what you want and you get it. You can also select the tabs up top and get a list of things like songs, artists, playlists, and albums. On the bottom is your playback control and tools for creating your own playlist and saving them for future playback. And on your right are some similar artists. It's intuitive and really easy to use. You do have to be careful as you can lose yourself in Groove Shark discovering new and old music while making playlists. So you might want to pick someone else's playlist so you can get back to work. Another thing of note is that Groove Shark site is flash powered, which can run slowly on older computers and be a battery drain on those laptops that aren't plugged in. Boo flash, but yay Groove Shark. If your lust for streaming music still hasn't been satiated, I have a couple more suggestions for you. For the first one, I have to bow my head and my considerable web abilities and concede defeat to a built-in application. If you have iTunes installed on your computer and are sick of your music, a simple and effective solution is to simply click the radio tab in the sidebar. There are a ton of genres and stations to select. Just do your ears a favor and don't select a low bit rate. Some stations offer multiple options, so always look for 128 kilobits per second or higher. Otherwise, there's always Last FM. You get 50 free plays a month, but for a mere three bucks a month, you get unlimited plays and no ads. That's less than a latte these days, which is sad for lattes, but good for you. If you're big on tracking your listening habits, Last.fm will do what it calls scrobbling with your music. This involves compatible apps that send your listening information to Last.fm as you enjoy your music on your computer or mobile devices. You can share your music taste with others and get suggestions for other music you might like. Just be careful to turn the scrobbling off for that embarrassing Milli Vanilli marathon, though I'm sure Mike would disagree on that statement. These days, downloading MP3s just isn't necessary with all the streaming you can do. Type in what you want and you have it. I don't always have the patience for playlists, but I embrace and adore you music geeks out there who make and share your playlists. I remember back when young men would offer mixtapes in hopes of winning our hearts. But for today's world, my heart skips a beat for these great services that give us endless music choices. That's my kind of romance.